Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you about box plots. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing my best to produce a lot of high quality educational videos, so be a part of it. Box plots are also called box and whisker plots because there is a box in the middle and there is usually two whiskers on the side. Box plots are called the five data point summary. What they really show. Let's start from the very left side. This is the minimum number. This is the minimum. Say you went around your neighborhood, you asked everyone's age, and the youngest person in your neighborhood is one years old. So that sits on this green min here. The opposite of that is definitely the max. So there is a lady who is 116 years old in your neighborhood, well done, and that's the max. That kind of shows you the range of the age. The first part of the box is called first quantile. So if there is a first quantile, there is definitely a second quantile, which is the median, and the third quantile. Let's go back to first quantile. What does first quantile mean? First quantile means the data point or the age data point that 25% of the data is smaller than that and 75% of the data is larger than that. Imagine you went around, asked 500 people's ages and age 21, there are 25% of people in your area that their age is lower than 21 years old and 75% of the people are older than 21 years old. So that's the first quantile here. What is the third quantile? So that's the opposite. 75% of people are younger than that age. For example, this is 77 years old. And 25% of people are older than that age. That's the third quantile. So then that leaves us with the middle, which is the median. Second quantile is also called the median. Surprise, surprise. 50% of people are younger than that. 50% of people are older than that. This is how we normally interpret a box plot. And that's really helpful. It's really helpful for you to understand are a lot of the data on the lower side is a lot of the data, is a lot of the data in the lower side, is a lot of the data in the higher side, or is it centered in the middle? Are there people who are really younger than the rest of the group? Or are there people who are really older, older than the rest of the group? So imagine if this whisker was really long, that meant that there are a couple of people who are really, really young compared to the rest of the group and the opposite. Welcome back. Let's talk about box and whisker plots. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a box plot, how to make it nice and pretty, how to interpret it, and how to present it. First things first, let's open a Python Jupyter Notebook. Like the way I always do, let's give it a proper name. I don't like to leave um, notebooks without any proper name. So this is matplotlib number seven, because this is the seventh video I'm making on matplotlib, and it's about box plots. For matplotlib, import pyplot as plt. So if you want to follow along with me, go ahead and download the code and the data in the description. Feel free to pause anytime you need and also feel free to skip ahead anytime you want. Let's make a white canvas of PLT figure, PLT plot. I'm not going to use PLT plot, but I just want to show you how that looks and PLT show. Let's just give it a figure size. What I'm doing right now, I'm setting my preference as what type and what size of figure do I want to get. I want to get a seven by seven figure that then I can go ahead and write my box plots into it. I'll bring in some data from previous videos, um, probably from histogram. I want to look at the box plot of the age. As I mentioned in the intro, we are looking at, we are looking at box plots, which are really good at showing the range and the distribution of data. Paste the age data here. I've got from 18 to 55, it is already sorted. I'm just going to quickly show you what the histogram of this data look like. Age. This is the histogram of this age data. If you don't want to see this written array here, just put a semicolon at the end and you won't see it because I don't want to make a histogram, I want to make a box plot. How do we make a box plot? Use the box plot function, feed the variable you want to make a box plot out of. Very easy. Now I have made a box plot of the age data that runs from just under 20, which is 18 here, all the way to 55, which is the maximum value. A box plot runs from the minimum value all the way to the maximum value. Okay, so as always, let's add some nice title to it, the age of 
respondents. Let's give it a Y label, call it age. Okay, so age appears here, box plot of the age of respondent. So I told you, this is the minimum, this is the maximum, this is the first quantile. What is the first quantile? First quantile means 25% of the data is less than that number, 75% of the data is bigger. This is the median, 50, 50, and this is the third quartile. Quartal. So 75% of the data is smaller than that, which is around 46 years of age, and 25% of the data is larger than that. Let's explore the changes we can make on the box plot to make it more presentable. The first thing is the notch parameter. Currently it is set to false, that's why we don't really see a notch, but let me run this. When you set the notch equals to true, these two notches happen on the sides of the median value. And what they represent, they represent the confidence interval in the data around that median. They're there is a meaning to this amount of notch here on this box plot. The next parameter is vert equal to either true or false. It's a Boolean variable. So currently it is set to true. So this is not gonna change anything. But if I set it to false, means that I want a horizontal box plot. Next parameter is the width variable. That sets the width of the box. So now if I set it to 0.1, that's narrower. Set it to 0.3, that's a bit bigger which is pretty nice. The next thing I wanna do, I wanna fill in this white area. What I will do, I will use the patch underscore artist to true, and it will fill in the graph. I wanna see more parameters to change about your box plot. I'll leave the link to matplotlib.boxplots documentation in the description down below. Feel free to go have a play with different parameters and see what it does to the box plot. One really important thing that I wanna show you is, if you remember, I told you that this this cap at this end shows the minimum data in this range, which is number 18, age of 18. And this cap shows the maximum age, which is 55. What would happen if we had a very different number compared to the rest of the numbers? What if someone was 106 years old? If you look at the range, the range is changing really smoothly, but from 55, the next person is at the age of 106. Let's try that. I'm gonna run this and I'm gonna run that. Look what happened to the box plot. So the box plot is the same box plot, but is squeezed to the range of 18 to 55. And then this person who is 106 years old is sitting separate to everything. This is called an outlier because it lies outside the usual data. Well, sometimes you don't wanna show that. What you can do, you can use the parameter show flyers, flyers as in outliers. And if you set it to false, you're not gonna see it. Is that data gone? No, it's not gone. You're only hiding it from this visualization. So if I say it true, it will come back. This is another strong point about box plots. You can see the outliers. Let's say there is one person who is one years old. And if I run the box plot again, it kind of merges into the data because the difference between one and 18 is not as big as the difference between 55 and 106. But it does make this whisker a bit longer because when it wasn't there, that whisker wasn't that long, it was shorter. Now we know how to make a box plot for the variable of age in this data. Let's go ahead and copy the salaries of Python and Java developers, bring it in a new cell, run it. I have Python salary and Java salary. What I'm gonna do, like always, make a figure of fig size um, seven and seven, and I'm gonna make a PLT box plot show. How can I get these two variables to be plotted side by side? I want their box plot side by side bring them in inside a list. So there will be a list that contains Python salary and Java salary variables. If I run this, you will see that I have two box plots side by side. The first one is for Python, second one is for Java. How do you know that? Well, you don't really need to guess, just add the labels and say the first one is Python and second one is Java. Now you have the labels down the bottom, which is great. I wanna patch the inside. So I'll use the patch artist to true. It's a bit more easy to see. Also, do I wanna make it horizontal? Because if I set vert equals to false, means that I want it horizontal. Um, not really, I, I, I enjoyed looking at the vertical because it was easier to interpret. Well, I'm a big fan of having titles, labels, and I really encourage you guys to do that. 
Let's give this a title of box Java developer and let's give it a PLTY salary in USD. We'll run this font size equal to 14, just a bit bigger. Uh, do I want to add a grid? Probably yes. Add a grid to this and make it 30%. Let's talk about interpretation of this plot. Python developers, Java de developers, their salaries on the y-axis. Their minimum is very close. However, if you look at this really carefully, let me just zoom in. You can see that the minimum for Java salaries is just a bit below Python salaries. The max significantly higher in Python developers. The median, Python developers have a higher median pay compared to Java developers. Let's see if I can add more aesthetics, more, uh, can I make it even more prettier? That gets into a bit too much detail, but I'm just going to show you one more thing. And then you can always go back to the matplotlib.boxplot um, examples and see it for yourself. What I want to do, I want to change the box lines around this. So I'm just going to use box props. I need to enter a dictionary. I'm just going to say edge color. I want the edge of the box to be red. Look at this. So now I have red, but it's not really visible. Uh, the next thing I can do, I can say, I want those box props. I want the line width for them to be four. Yep, yeah, that's pretty thick. And also I would like the median to be a bit thicker because the median is not really visible. What I really need to do now is use the median, median props equals uh, line width of six, maybe black. I can change the whisker props as well. Change it to line width of, okay, that's better. And you can also change the cap. You will need to use the cap props, but you get the idea. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have heaps of other content coming up your way.